Good evening again from Intermezzo Concert Series. My name is Bedrina Subotic. I am the artistic director of the series, and it is my pleasure to be playing tonight with my friend Will. Um, we will continue to present violin and piano duets tonight. Um, the piece that you just heard is by composer William Grant Still, a black composer um, who, in this particular set of pieces, was inspired by Harlem Renaissance art. Each of the movements uh, is based on a sculpture. Uh, the first one is named African Dancer, the first movement. The second, which is kind of a bluesy, slow movement that you heard, uh, is titled Mother and Child, after a sculpture and a drawing by Sergeant Johnson. And then the third movement is based on a sculpture called um, Gaiman, but um, it is based on a sculpture of a young boy in bronze, um, very evocative with a little hat, cute hat, and uh, um, a button-up kind of a jacket and just very mischievous look in his face. And I think that was kind of evident from from uh, the music. Uh, the next piece that we are going to play is by Ludwig von Beethoven. Uh, we have been playing a lot of Beethoven this year because it has, uh, 2020 was the 20, 250th um, anniversary of his birth. So lots of Beethoven and today we bring you a rarely heard piece, uh, 12 variations on a theme by Mozart from um, his opera, Mozart's opera, The Marriage of Figaro. And the aria on which this music is based is Figaro's aria uh, called Would You Like to Dance or Do You, Do you Want to Dance? And in which Figaro is expressing dismay over the Count's um, efforts to seduce his soon-to-be wife. So he's quite upset and uh, kind of making fun of the Count, calling him the Little Count. Would you like me to show you how to dance? And so the, the entire music is uh, infused with this um, a bit of mockery and quite a lot of uh, Mozartian charm and uh, tongue-in-cheek making fun of um, nobility of Mozart's time. Um, before we commence with the Beethoven, I would just like to make sure that you know, our viewers uh, who are with us, um, that you know how much we appreciate that you joined us tonight for this concert. And I'd like to thank our hosts, uh, sponsors for tonight's concert, Excellence in the Community, Excellence Concert Series. Um, as classical musicians, we have, um, as you might imagine, had um, a very difficult year with all the concert halls being shut down and um, many venues have stopped producing concerts of any kind. Um, and so we're very grateful and very happy that we're able to come to you via this platform. Um, every month we present a classical program on first Wednesday of the month at eight o'clock. And uh, I'd like to thank the Gallivan Center for making this venue available to us. Um, Dames, Dames Music, and Skip Danes for providing this beautiful Steinway for me to play on. Um, I'd like to thank the Salt Lake City Mayor, Aaron Mendenhall, and Salt Lake City Council, Utah State Division of Arts and Museums. Um, and I hope I haven't forgotten anyone, but if I have, um, I'll get you next time. So here we are for Beethoven's 12 Variations.
Hello. Uh, I just, my, on my own part, I want to thank Excellence in the Community as well for this opportunity. Um, the only concerts that I've been able to play uh, over the past few months have been here at Excellence in the Community, and so I'm, I'm really grateful to them for, for uh, giving us this platform. Um, the next piece that we're going to play is a piece by uh, Korngold, Eric Wolfgang Korngold, and he is really one of the great film composers of all time, and we're talking old Hollywood. Um, the piece that we're going to play um, comes from one of his, his really early scores. It, it's incidental music to Shakespeare's uh, Midsummer's Night Dream, and um, it's, uh, it's arranged, it was originally for orchestra, and now it's arranged as a, just four movements from this, uh, four scenes from the play. Um, and it's, it's really just that old, sc old school Hollywood sound, and it's gorgeous music, and we're really excited to play it for you.
we are going to end this program with the Dvorak Sonatina. And when Vedrana and I first were talking about this program, we both were totally aligned on this piece. We were just we're so excited to play it. Um, I think I, I speak for both of us in saying it's really one of our favorite pieces of music. Um, for me, when I, when I hear Dvorak's music, I often just get, I hear human goodness. I know that sounds um, a little corny, but it's just, you just hear the best of us. And um, this is a, a really beautiful piece, a lot of love in it. It's written for his kids. And he, he wrote the second movement. The second movement is, um, there's, there's a really fun story with it. They, they visited Lake Min Minnehaha, Minnehaha in Minnesota and he found a waterfall and he actually composed the second movement. He must have written down just a, a fragment, but he wrote it on his sleeve. And if you listen to the second movement, there's a, there's a waterfall uh, motive in there and I think it's pretty unmistakable. So be listening for that waterfall in the second movement and enjoy, I think, one of the best pieces ever written for violin and piano.